okay munsi so this video is for you so i am going to show you how you can plot your output power efficiency voltage whatever against some random variable other than time in lt spike so let's say i want to vary my coupling coefficient k and see the effect on the uh, power transfer to this load rl so my load rl is 4 ohms here and these are the parameter of my ipt system so inductance is this second inductance is this one and so on and here i have made coupling coefficient if you see x so this x i am varying using this command dot step param x so i am varying x from 0.01 to 1 in the step of 0 0.05 so if you right click on this you will see this dialog box here it says that nature of sweep is linear start value is 0 0.01 end value is 1 and increment is 0 0.051 0 0.05 you can make this increment still smaller to get a more data and more refined result but it will increase the simulation time right now i want to see how the voltage across this load vary if coupling is varying from 0 0.01 to 1 so i have made this uh, uh, net as renamed it as load now i am saving this uh, node voltage here see dot major v load rms so i'm i'm i mean to plot the rms value of that voltage because it's a ac voltage so if you plot average you will get zero in lt spice because lt spice does not calculate it like 2 by pi of the peak of the ac voltage so you will get zero so i am plotting rms so and this is the count if you right click you will get this dialog block dialog box so result name i am saving it as v load rms and what i want to do you can select from here so i am plotting rms don't plot average for ac okay and so on so i click it okay and these are command just for more precision you can even uh, avoid it doesn't matter and then here is this p out so p out is the power across this uh, load that also you can plot so p out one i have uh, named it and it's calculating the average of the voltage across the load i mean this node and current flowing through this uh, uh, voltage uh, source so here i have put the voltage zero so it acts as a uh, current sensor so this is how you can create a current sensor in the lt spice so you take a voltage source give the value zero and any current passing through it uh can be used as a uh, current uh, flowing in that circuit so voltage time current and i'm taking the average i will get the power out okay so this i have done here and then now if i run the simulation and i'm doing the uh, this uh, transient simulation so stop time i'm run, doing the simulation for 10 millisecond I am time to start saving data is 5 millisecond because I want to plot the steady state not the transient right we want to see what will be the average voltage if the coupling is 0 0.1 and what will be the average voltage if the coupling is 0 0.2 and so on so we need to have we need to know in advance when how long it takes our simulation to reach the steady state so first you run the simulation for uh, your zero minimum coupling and for the maximum coupling and see how much time the voltage is taking for reaching the steady state and then you can set your stop time so here i have set 10 millisecond 10 millisecond for all the x my system reaches steady state and i don't want to plot uh, the transient so i'm saving the data from 5 millisecond okay and i have set this command startup command zero okay and you can ignore this thing this is my custom made block to calculate p in and p out so that's why i have this another uh, p out statement here i have renamed it p out one this is using the uh, lt spice inbuilt blocks and this is using my custom uh, blocks so you can if you have this uh, my library you can use this and use this command or without using this this is how you calculate the average power now if i run the simulation 
right let the simulation finish you can uh, uh, know the status of your simulation when this running man will enable again so right now it's disabled because simulation is running so once simulation stop this run symbol will enable you can see my cursor so we should wait so here also you can see it's 18 by 21 so total 21 simulation need to run is 19 it's 21 so finally simulation is over now you can go you can see the plot also like this wheel see it's plotting for every value of x and we cannot see the uh, transient because uh, we are plotting from 5 milliseconds so you can only see the steady state now if i want to plot i go to the tools sorry i go to view and uh, spice error log and here i have all the variable which i wanted to plot so v load rms right p out and p out one so i want to see the let's say power dissipated in load at different uh, value of x so i right click plot step measure now you will get this blank window because you have three variable you want to plot using save command now you add trace and here you have all the variable so i want to see p out and voltage across the load i click ok and this is the plot you get and you see on the x-axis you have the coupling coefficient from 0 0.01 to 1 and on the y-axis you have your p out uh, green trace is the power output so it should be in the unit should be in the watt and v load rms unit will be obviously voltage so you can uh, export this data into matlab and label it all the unit properly right uh, for your paper or uh, for more visibility and here you can see that peak value of output uh, power is at coupling if we put the cursor it's around uh, uh, 0 0.06 coupling coefficient so 6% of coupling co coefficient I am getting the maximum power output and as the coupling coefficient increases our output voltage also decreases our power output also decreases so using this method you can do this plot for all the variable and for all the compensation topology I hope this will help you